chat here to talk about something new. We're going to start looking at Boolean logic. Boolean logic forms the basis for defining and evaluating Boolean expressions in programming. It also is used in the design of circuits, which are the basis of all digital computers. And it also gives a basis for program proving. So let's start off by having a look at the basic Boolean operators. Firstly, when we're dealing with Boolean, it means that we are representing things as true or false. And we might represent those as one and zero as well. So one is true and zero is false. So the Boolean operators we work with, the first one is not. And it basically takes the inverse of whatever something was. So if I was to use a variable such as a, then not a would be its opposite. So if a was true, not a would be false. And if a was false, not a would be true. So not takes the opposite of something. And we work with little variables as well in, in binary. Now, when we're dealing with not, it depends on whether you are working with an, a Boolean expression, a programming statement, or a circuit diagram, but not can be represented in a few ways. So in an algebraic expression or a Boolean expression, it's using the tilde, and that will take a not of whatever the variable is. In a logic diagram, we would use this symbol. And if we were programming in Java, we would use an exclamation mark before whatever the operator is, and that would represent a not. So to make a quick summary, not is always the opposite of whatever you started with. So if you're not something, you take its opposite. The next one we're going to look at is and. And I'll give a description first. And results in true if everything is true. So if we're dealing with two variables, then both of those items have to be true for the result to be true if they're being anded together. Um, or if there are three, then all three must be true. So let's have a little look at that. So if we had two variables, let's say we had A and B, and we wanted to know what the result would be if we end the two together. So if A was false and B was false, then you can't say that everything is true. So because they're not all true, it has to be false. Let's say we had A was false and B was true. Still, not everything is true, so it has to be false. Uh, let's go with A is true and B is false. And we're ending them together. Is everything true? No, it's not. Let's try one last combination. If A is true and B is true, they are both true. So I can say yes. Everything in that statement is true, and that means that my answer is also true. So in a Boolean expression, a little hat is the symbol for AND. If I was drawing a circuit diagram, I would have two inputs. So one of those would be my A and one of those would have been my B. And then they go into a big D-shaped item, and they produce one output. So if we had a little look, this, in the case here, that would have been one of the inputs, that would have been one of the inputs, and that result would have been the output out the other side. And if we were programming in Java, then the symbol that we would use is a double ampersand. Now the third commonly used uh, Boolean operator is the OR. Whether we're using two variables or three or whatever, or is true when at least one is true. So if you had A or B or C, as long as one of those three is true, then the statement is always true. 
So let's have a look at um, A or B, just like we did with the end. So let's have A, B, and the result when we all the two together. So if we have A is false and B is false, then we've got two, but none of those are true, so the answer is false. And if we had A is false and B is true, then at least one of those is true. So we'll go with true. Uh, let's go with true for A and false for B. Still, at least one of those is true, so it's true. And let's try true for both. And it says true when at least, uh, I've got the one there, when at least one is true. Now they're both true, and that means it's definitely true. So that one is true there as well. Now if we were programming, sorry, if we were writing a Boolean expression, we would use a little V to use the OR symbol. If we were drawing a circuit diagram similar to the AND, we've got two inputs, or three if you were using three, and we don't use a D shaped, we use something that is slightly more pointed, and that produces one output. And if we were programming in Java, we would use a double pipe. Okay, so they are our NOT, AND, and OR. They are the three basic Boolean operators that we use in computer science. So we'll jump to another tutorial to see how we might use these things.